Hello there YouTube and very welcome to my very first uh, tutorial video, a uh, video on how to install or download and install realistic world of AI, uh, AI traffic onto FSX. Because let's not um, lie here, bec uh, the ordinary AI traffic for or the default AI traffic for FSX really isn't that great. Um, so if you're a person who loves to fly on free flights and you would like something a little more realistic, then this is definitely for you. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to download from World of AI, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people do it from there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go onto Google Chrome or the any search engine that you use, and we're going to go ahead and search World of AI on your search engine, and you click on the first link that is there, and you will come up. First of all, you will come up to the uh, World of AI homepage, which is here. And I do apologize, I'm not sure if you're supposed to still register on World of AI. I don't think so because it's been quite a while since I was on this website and I think they changed a little bit. But if it is required to register for you, just re uh, register. I'm not very sure where. Last time I was here, the first time that I did it, I just had to register on home, which was very, very easy. Um, so what you're going to do is, after you register, if necessary, you're, and, and uh, also you're going to have to definitely be registered on either AFSIM or FlightSim, whichever one. I do apologize for the users who uh, use uh, FlightSim because I'm going to do this one on AFSIM, but I'm pretty sure it's very the same as long as you get to the folder that you, ha that you installed, so it shouldn't be a problem. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the World of AI installer, which is very simple. You just uh, download it, save it, and then it'll be one folder on its own, and then you should, inside that typical, uh, that folder, you will have the World of AI installer that you will be uh, that you will be able to be accessed to. So uh, very simple. I just uh, made a shortcut of that World of AI installer uh, thing that driver that I'm going to use, and I just made a shortcut and I just put it on my desktop. Very very simple. So uh, what we're going to do is, as you can see, after you've downloaded the installer, you're going to come down here and you see there are a lot of airlines that we can choose from. Unfortunately, just a few for FS9. But um, uh, up here, but there are these ones are also available for F for FS9. That's just going to come into the installer later, right? So what you're going to do is you're just going to select any airline that you want, uh, your preferable airline that you're going to use. In my case, I'm just uh, going to use a simple one uh, for the sake of the video. So I'm just going to download Finnair. Uh, I don't I don't care about Finnair at all, but uh, just for the sake of the video. So what you're going to do is you're going to see. Okay, I want to download Finnair. Now you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on AFSIM or FlightSim, which one you want to use. So in my case, I'm going to click on AFSIM just once. It'll throw you to the AFSIM library, tell you the details, uh, the date it was released, um, World of AI, etc., etc. It is freeware, freeware. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on Download. And then we'll see at the bottom here, it will be starting to download. So it's going to be very simple. So uh, just waiting for it to download. Right, and uh, while it's downloading, I also just would like to add that um, this is a committed download. Uh, I do apologize for those, um, uh, not apologize actually, I'm sorry, but um, this is a committed download. So once you download this, the default FSX traffic um, is lost and you cannot get it back onto your PC. It's, it's, it's virtually completely replaced uh, by this world of AI traffic but it's definitely worth it and I assume of course if you're watching this video that you don't want the traffic in any way so it doesn't matter so um, we're just gonna wait for this to, to, to finish downloading and then what you're gonna do is once it is finished I'll just take it from there and um, it's gonna be very simple and this is also a very trustworthy uh, website no problems at all it's very simple very trustworthy and I mean look at this look at how many airlines you have you you have cargo airlines you have uh, business Boeing jets uh, virtually those airlines that um, or not airlines those aircraft like Air Force One and uh, those uh, aircraft that carry the presidents and very important people uh, you also have those you have cargos you have um, GA traffic like King Air Cessna citations etc and uh, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff here. You can just scroll through it. Right, so once this is finished, you're going to right click and you're going to go show in folder, which will be right here. Okay, so now we got it. 
So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to copy this one, which wherever you save it, doesn't matter. And then what we're going to do is, you can just exit here, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to paste it onto our desktop, right here. Very, very simple. And then what you're going to do is you're going to double click on the World of AI Installer shortcut or the World of AI Installer inside the folder, it doesn't matter. And then you're going to click on Run. And then we're going to open the installer. So here you are in the installer now. From here it's very quick and very simple. You're going to click on Next. You're going to select FSX. For FS2004, you just have to, uh, you're just going to have to go to your driver that, that your FS2004 is in, in my case C. Program Files 86. Program Files for 32-bit users. Pr pr program Files 86 for 64-bit users. That's me. So you're going to go ahead and scroll down to Microsoft Games. Microsoft Flight Simulator 9, double click, and then you're going to say open. So that's not a problem. In FSX, it does it for you automatically. I do apologize. I don't think it does it for you automatically the first time you do it, but it's very simple. Uh, see uh, the driver or the uh, hard drive that you have your FSX on. Program Files times 86, Microsoft Games, Flight Simulator X. You're going to save it into sim objects and airplanes. Very simple. Right, So, but I'm, but I'm pretty sure it does it for you automatically, and do not check this box. Do not check it. Okay, now we're going to go up here and select the package we want to install. So we're going to click here. We're going to, where we pasted it, which is on the desktop, simplest way, and we're going to go to the World of AI FinAir Volume 3 that we just uh, downloaded, and we're going to click Open. You're going to go Next. I agree. Next. And then it gives you all the aircraft that it has, and you're going to go Install. There you go, World of AI Pack installed, and then you're going to go Exit. There you have it. Very, very simple. Very easy. Um, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Any further questions, um, please uh, ask me below the comments um, or any assistance that I can uh, help you with. Uh, my email address will also be in the, in the description. I'll also put links uh, for World of AI uh, in the description, so no problem at all. And uh, my next tutorial will be on how to set a flight plan uh, an entire flight plan into the Airbus X or PMDG 737 which will be awesome because that flight plan is done for you and then all you have to do is um, input your uh, fuel, your payload and your uh, cruising altitude etc but furthermore the, the entire flight plan is done for you you just have to make maybe make one or two changes in it but that I will cover in my next tutorial thank you very much for watching any further questions in the comments thank you very much for watching and um, I will see you next time